Good morning, YouTube. I wanted to talk a little bit about digital versus analog and the argument that a new technician needs to know how to calculate superheat and subcool manually with an analog set of gauges versus getting superheat and subcool given to you by a digital set of gauges. I'm not going to say that it's not important to have some idea or know how to calculate superheat and subcool, but what I believe is much more important is actually the ability to calculate target pressures and target superheat over how to calculate superheat and subcool. With digital gauges, you get a live reading of superheat and subcool. With analog gauges and a temperature clamp, you spend a few moments Turn making those calculations control. manually. And since a live reading of superheat and subcool gives you a much more accurate visibility of those numbers you save time in having your superheat or subcooling change too quickly so if you're on a service call with a low refrigerant charge issue and you are adding gas to the system while you're adding gas you're supposed to wait to let that gas circulate through the system before you recheck your pressures and re recheck your superheat and subcooling. Um, so if you're calculating it manually and those pressures and temperatures show that you're getting close but you've not given the system time to balance out and then it all, all of a sudden changes because your refrigerant is circulating through the system a manual calculation is not fast enough. Keep left on south, you switch street. to digital gauges and you can see that that superheat is lower at times, higher at other times. And if you don't know where your pressure should be, where your superheat and subcool south, should be, street. then you're only making half of the calculations that you need to. So, I would like to offer that a junior technician learning heating and air conditioning and the refrigeration circuit is much better off getting a live vision of what superheat is doing, what subcool is doing, and knowing where it should be rather than being forced or stuck trying to calculate it manually. Miles. I think Turn right that to I East. it is more beneficial to know where you should be rather than how to calculate it manually. I would like to get your thoughts on this. I'm sure there's going to be a little bit of a discussion in regards to it. Um, Turn right on to I, I learned superheat and subcool manually and was very happy to be able to see that information changing live rather than having to switch my temperature probes and recalculate all of that information.